Mom, why is Dad already in the jacuzzi with Bacardi? Um, Gokstein Media and the Wolf of All Streets tweeted about him. And since then, well, he's enjoying it. <laughs> Dad? Dad? <laughs> Isn't it time to make your video? Uh, I'm so enjoying the sun on my face. I don't want to make a video. Guys already tweeted about me. Gokstein Media and the Wolf of Wall Street. Should I don't even work anymore? <laughs> nah, Alright. Do you want to record a video together with me? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll finish this one. Cheers, guys. Beautiful weekend. Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Today I will be filming with Julie, my beautiful daughter, and we will talk about the Bitcoin price, we will talk about Square, we will talk about blogs, we will talk a little bit about Christmas, hmm, why so early, I will tell you, and we will talk about Vitalik and Ethereum, and of course guys, we will bomb you with really cool Bitcoin charts again in this video, so guys, have fun watching today's video. Damn! Let's first pick up Jolie. Jolie! Do you want to go and uh, create a movie with me? This is a complete movie, like Hollywood uh, style movie, or shall we just a uh, Bitcoin family YouTube video? I start with small. Okay, I like your shirt. Can you show the shirt? The pink Bitcoin lady shirt. Available in our store, of course. We can walk into nature or we can walk to the beach. Um, beach. Beach? Yeah. Okay. So let's walk to the beach, guys. Um, we will start with the family part, of course, the family part. This year, Julie, I have a really cool idea on how to do the shopping. For Christmas. For Christmas, okay. yes. I know it's early, normally yeah. I don't start this early. <laughs> but, so I will give you a budget. And for this budget, you need to um, shop online. You know, all the stores are closed. We don't want to walk around with a face mask. So we yeah. do online shopping. And then we show the people that you, by shopping, get crypto as a cashback so as you spend you get crypto back and then we gamify it by saying okay you three for example get $100 budget maybe a little bit more I don't know yet depends on how they behave but and if uh, you know Santa needs to love what they do <laughs> because else he uh, sends the bad elves you still, do you still believe in Santa? he doesn't exist ah no <laughs> <laughs> but then you have a budget like $100 and you you three need to shop as much as possible but also get as much as possible crypto cashback some stores give a little bit more cashback than other stores so it is then it's for you to decide to get the best presents with the most cashback and then at the end we will announce the winner and then we will show the people what you bought and everything is that a cool game yeah okay cool so that was our Christmas plan uh, but I will explain the rest in another video guys because Christmas is still far away. I think it's like Jessa is counting the days, 50 days or something. Yeah. Then there is another news and yes I know that she doesn't know that we were going to talk about this. But we have the family token. Do you already own family tokens? No. No. Why not? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I still need to educate my own kids on how to claim these family tokens because they don't understand that maybe in a couple of days or weeks the family token will get some value and then they can claim these tokens for free by finding the QR codes in our videos in our videos and if they claim the tokens they have free family tokens and then they can exchange them maybe in the future back to Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever but even if they can't exchange them to Bitcoin or Ethereum you can buy a t-shirt for it or you can get a shout out or you can do a lot of other cool stuff with this family token so it becomes time that you start to hunt for these family tokens as well. Yeah. Or maybe I should pay you allowance in family tokens. Allowance. Yeah, that, that. Is that an idea or yeah. do you prefer Bitcoin? No, I prefer Bitcoin, I think. Ah. Let's see. Maybe in the future she will prefer family tokens. Let's see to what that will evolve. But guys, be aware that I have some really cool news that I wanted to announce yesterday, but we will announce it next Friday. 
and we will do a pre-announcement in the Discord channel and the Telegram channel where you can only be if you own family tokens. I'm saying this wrong. You can onboard the Discord channel and the Telegram channel without owning family tokens. But with family tokens, you have access to the VIP levels and all that stuff. And in these exclusive levels, we always do the pre-announcement of really cool news. And this news, believe me, you don't want to miss the news that I'm going to share with you guys because you will love it. You will completely love it. So that was the family part. We need to cross a railway here and then we will start to talk about the Bitcoin part because you want me to bomb you guys with really cool Bitcoin charts and that is exactly what I'm going to do if we can cross this railway without getting hit by a huge train because that would hurt really? yeah it would really hurt like, mm. like massive like so BAM! Ow. <laughs> that's the joke they always play how is the joke called? Um, oh how is it called? I like your cut G <laughs> So, what does it mean? I like your cut? I like it. It means like when a boy has done his hair. Like me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like I like your cut, yeah, and then you just... And then you yeah. slam it. So this is the game they play all day long. My wife already got hit a few times. <laughs> I'm already getting hit a few times. I like your cut, G. <laughs> like something like this. So, uh, these uh, trendy games, you know, we need to play them. But let's take a jump into the Bitcoin part. This one. BAM! Bam. In this Bitcoin part, guys, first taking a look at this chart. This is a really cool four hour chart. Bam! On this four hour chart, you can see that we have this form, this bullish flag pattern. In this bullish flag pattern, we can break to the upside, but also to the downside. If we would break to the upside, guys, we will see a price of 16,500 US dollar per Bitcoin very soon. If we would break to the downside, then guys, we could go to 15,100, 14,600, or even the low levels of 14,000 US dollar per Bitcoin because there's a huge region of support. I would always put some buy orders around 14K, around 13.5K and maybe even down to 12K because if we dip with this wick downwards, you add Bitcoin to your portfolio very cheap because in my opinion, it would only be a short pullback before we try to break 14K then again, 16K then again, 20k then again and then take it all the way up to 50 and 100k next year so yes you all have some time to accumulate some bitcoins cheaper in my opinion but you never know it is bitcoin bitcoin can also just steam ahead like a rocket all the way breaking 16k all the way to 20k and create a new autumn high before the end of this month that would be really cool but i would prefer one more healthy dip because that would be better i think for the long term position of the Bitcoin price. And why do I think this guys? Because if we take a look at this chart, we can see that there is a lot of upwards movement possible for Bitcoin. Let's take the chart, this one. Bam! Bam. On this chart, you can see all colorful dots. You don't know the chart, but it's like all colorful dots. And in these colorful dots, you can see that in the last all time highs, we were around the level 90 to 100. At the moment, we created the fifth red dot. And this fifth red dot is now around the level of 70. So you can see we still have a huge upward movement possibility in the price if it is up to this RSI chart. So yes, in my opinion, a small healthy pullback will create another steam upwards in the Bitcoin price all the way breaking 16K and maybe even we can reach 20K again before then again we dip back to the 14K region, go sideways for some time then pick it up again in the new year where we will take Bitcoin to 50k around July and maybe 100k around September October so that's another year from here I am not a financial advisor I don't have a glass ball I don't know what is happening to the prices exactly I just think that this is the path that Bitcoin will walk and that's why the reason we always accumulate Bitcoin exchange them to stable currencies when we think they are topping out buy Bitcoin back when it's dipping there and that is how we multiply our hodl in bitcoins so just a game the way we play it no financial advice just telling you how i play it and there is another reason guys why i believe that the bitcoin price is going to go much higher because i think that we soon will have a supply crisis a supply crisis did he yes a crisis where we don't have enough bitcoins to sell and where everybody wants to have bitcoins and why do i believe that this is going to happen you can see this on this chart Bam! That was like 
Now she's losing attention because it's just about Bitcoin. Come on, a little bit energy. You can see it on this chart. Bam! Bam! Yeah, that sounds more sexy, Jody. <laughs> you can't, uh, you know, just do like bam. It's like the same when you walk into a bar to a guy and say hello. Or you, or you say hello. My name is Jolie. So what is your pickup line? I don't have pickup. What is their pickup line to you? What is your favorite pickup line? How would you, how do, know. how would you want to be picked up? I don't know. Is it like, did it hurt? No, I hate that pickup line. Uh, how do, how does it work then? Okay. It's like when you fall from the sky, right? Yeah, yeah, that way, yeah. Or uh, I just start kissing. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. Sorry, she doesn't want to talk too much about Bitcoin. So we'll talk a little bit faster about Bitcoin so we can continue to shit about other things in life. Uh, where were we stuck? Oh, yeah, we just did a BAM. So that a small BAM, BAM, that one will break us to this chart. If we only take a look at Square, they already sold in quarter three of this year 160,000 Bitcoins. In that same period of time, guys, only 81,000 Bitcoins were minted, were mined. So we are mining 80,000 Bitcoins, and if we only take Square, they're already selling 130,000 Bitcoins. And then if we take MicroStrategy and Grayscale, that also add like 40,000 and 20,000 Bitcoins in the last couple of weeks, then you can understand what I mean. We will see a supply crisis. If all these companies are buying up all these Bitcoins everywhere, and not enough Bitcoins are being mined at the moment, then they need to pay more, so the price will go up. So I think this Bitcoin supply crisis will be a huge influence on the price because all these huge institutional investors, trust funds, companies are now buying up all the Bitcoins, which means there are not enough Bitcoins left to buy and which will then again cause a huge increase in the price because there is not enough supply and there is a huge kick-ass demand. So really cool if you look at the market like this. So if I compare it to the real life, Let's compare it to you, because maybe it's difficult for you to understand now. Let's say you have 50 girlfriends and you go into a bar. Yeah. And in this bar, there are 10 handsome boys. Mm -hmm. So that means that only one of the five women you are with gets a guy. You are 50 with you, there are 10 guys. So you don't need to do like a real hard effort because the chance is big you will end up with a guy that evening because there aren't enough guys. Mm -hmm. But what if you walk into the same bar with 50 girlfriends and there is only one guy? What happens? Uh -huh. Then you get a competition. Yeah. Then everybody starts to do their best with dancing. You know, how do you dance like don't this? Don't do that. You do it. You no. do it. No. <laughs> you did it at home. <laughs> so then you need to like, you know, invest and throw all your charms in and you need to do everything to get that guy. Yeah. So because there's only one guy, supply, and there's a huge demand, 50 women. If there is 10 guys and 50 women, then the supply is bigger and the demand is equal. So that does mean that the price then will decrease. But if there is only one guy, the price will increase because you will need to fight with 50 over this one guy. Uh, I don't think you get it, do you? Kinda. Kinda. Let's take a look at another chart, guys. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! Yeah. This is a one-day chart. On the one-day chart, you can see the same. The biggest resistance is between 16 and 17,000 US dollar. So if we would break 16,000 dollar, we would still see a huge resistance at 16,200, 16,500. What then again can lead to a pullback. Also, the one-day chart showing us the same. So always be aware to or increase your stop loss or put in some buy orders at the low areas of 14k. And if, if you find it difficult to trade or to use these strategies, then take a look at the DD Bam Bam indicator because this is simplifying the trading for you guys. Let's take a look at yesterday's result of the DD Bam Bam indicator with this chart. One, two, three, bam! On the DD Bam Bam indicator chart. This chart is showing you what the DD BAM BAM indicator indicated yesterday when to buy and when to sell. Like you can see at 8 a.m. It gave, it gave a short signal. This short signal gave a 90% return on investment. This is when we leverage with 10 on for example Bybet or Dudex or Prime XBT. So do sign up to one of these exchanges using my referral links because you get kick-ad bonuses from 50% to $300. 
So if you did a short with a leverage of 10, which means the liquidation of your short will be huge, will be high, it won't be liquidated very fast, you are not taking the biggest risk, you would have made a 20% return. Then at 9.30, yet it's one and a half hour later, you could do a long. And with this long, with the same settings, you could have made 16%. And then again in the evening at 9, you could, you could have traded again and you could have made another 20%. So in total, yesterday, you could have made a 60% if you played very safe with only a leverage of 10. And that means that you can't be liquidated very quickly. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, then sign up to the Discord channel. We will educate you over there and we'll show you the examples over there. And you have find, can find all the information on how to trade in a very safe, not too much risk taking way and still make these kinds of returns of investment. This is a lot of return of investment, 60%. $100 becomes 160 US dollar. That's a lot of money by just putting in some buy orders, some sell orders, and again a buy order, and again a sell order. If you want to zoom out of the charts a little bit more, you need these kinds of indicators to help you. So take a look at the Didi Bam Bam indicator. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Do you like Portugal to now? Yeah. Do you like the new house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to live in this house? Yeah. <laughs> it's really huge and, I don't know, I like the story pool. Are we going to invite some friends? I hope so. If the corona is gone. You can invite them now, live on YouTube. Who do you want to invite? <laughs> I already did. Who? Damien Lois. Damien Lois. Ah, that would be awesome. So let's see if we can get Damien Lois over here to Portugal. Because yeah, we have some bets over. We have in total, I think, uh, how many beds do we have? Ten. Ten. Ten beds. And we only are at five. So five people can sleep at our place. Five single women, also welcome. <laughs> No. no, no, not welcome, not welcome. I'm married, I'm married, I'm married, I have daughters. But you're welcome to clean and to cook and to do Thai massage and to... Yeah, for this, yeah, just sure. for that. Yeah, sure. Like, I work hard, I need to, you know, be rewarded as well. Just like I reward you guys with watching these films and claiming free family tokens that then again you can spend to buy a t-shirt or something like that. So, that was enough chatter, enough charts. Let's take it to the blockchain slash news part. This part, BAM! She didn't know, she was sleeping, she was thinking about the five single boys she wanted to invite no. into her house to sit in a jacuzzi and sleep with each other. No, not sleep with each other, you sleep separate. No, why? <laughs> that was a joke. Before you marry, you can't sleep together. No. No? No. Ah, no, I don't like the rule as well. Guys, in the Netherlands, yes, my home country, there is now the second company that is now awarded an AMDL5 um, certificate so they can officially sell and bitcoins to the normal people out there but this second company is called blocks and blocks is targeting the normal consumer there was already one company that was called Admax, but Admax is more like a company that's selling bitcoins to huge uh, entities and like institutions and companies and billionaires this company blocks is focusing on people that even want to buy bitcoin for one euro you know so blocks now is officially legally selling bitcoins in the Netherlands as an exchange. Really cool. Congrats to the Blocks Exchange, guys. You are doing a great job. And now be aware, because I'm educating people in not to buy in exchanges where they need to do KYC, because I want to educate them on the true fundamentals of Bitcoin. And they should be buying their Bitcoins in decentralized exchanges, in my opinion. But even then, when they buy at Blocks, guys, you can always use a coin mixer or the Wasabi wallet to mix up your coins and to get back your privacy. So again, blocks, no hard feelings. Really congratulations for me, because it's a huge step for an exchange in the Netherlands to verify this AMDL5. So I wish you all the luck in the future, guys. And I wish you a lot of fun to selling Bitcoins to all the Dutch people. We need to get everybody into this space. With or without KYC, all fine with me. Do you know Ethereum? Yeah. Do you know the founder of Ethereum, uh, Vitalik? Heard of him. Yeah, did you ever see a picture of him? No. Okay, he's a billionaire. Would you want to date him? No. <laughs> Why not? I think he's too old. <laughs> oh, he's not that old. He's a young guy. Can I search him up? Yeah, search him. Wait. <laughs> I want to see her reaction in the face. Do you want to date Vitalik? I'm already happy you're not uh, dating him because he's a no. billionaire. Yes. Oh, no, that's... Uh, Would you date No. <laughs> Why not? He Look looks, at that. Yeah, he looks quite cute. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I don't want to laugh at Vitalik because I really respect what he created. Um, but I already knew that she didn't take this uh, his, um, appearance, you know. She likes more tanned boys and all that stuff. But um, you need to know, Vitalik did a lot for this, uh, for this world. So we cannot make jokes about Vitalik. Of course we can. We are the Bitcoin family. Everybody can make jokes. That's what is wrong in this world. Nobody can make jokes about each other anymore. And they start to scream and to cry and to make all that fuss like a drama queen. Man, always look at life as if it is one big joke. Always make fun and just respect each other for each other's opinion. Because that is exactly what I teach my kids as well. You know, you can make fun of people, but you need to also respect it when they make fun of you. It's all fun, guys. It's all sarcastic humor. It is all just one big show that we are living in. As you already noticed with these US elections that are already taking like three or four days. Biden wins, Trump wins, Biden wins. All the news features are telling us different stories. So just enjoy the ride. Enjoy this life. Just make fun. And yes, that is inclusive sarcasm and some humor about people and also accepting other people to make some humor about you because that is the best way to live. So that was like just to comfort Vitalik now because, you know, maybe he's a very gentle guy. Maybe he will start to cry because you don't want to date him. You never know. No. <laughs> but why I started about Vitalik, Vitalik is uh, Ethereum is getting a new like Ethereum 2.0. So there's always a risk when you upgrade from, from like Ethereum to Ethereum 2.0. But Vitalik was really cool and he really trusts Ethereum 2.0 because he put like about 3,200 Ethereums which is about like 1.4 million US dollar into this Ethereum 2.0 from, from his private wallet, not his company wallet, from his private wallet. So he is backing up exactly what he is saying with his own cash and I really respect this. He's not using all the other people's cash, he's using his own cash and he's backing up the thing he believes in. Really cool Vitalik um, and sorry, we made a little joke about you. You can make one back about me in one of your shows. I don't think he's YouTubing at all. Shh. And the reason why I was talking about Ethereum guys is because Ethereum didn't make that big move yet. Bitcoin is moving upwards tremendously. But in 2018, we saw the same. Bitcoin reached an all-time high around 20K. It took a month longer for Ethereum to reach the all-time high of 1400 US dollar. So are we seeing the same now again? Bitcoin already is like reaching 16K. Will Ethereum start to run up really quickly now as well, like a few days or a few weeks or even a month later than Bitcoin? That is why I'm buying a little bit more Ethereum at the moment, because I believe Ethereum is lagging behind. That is why I added Litecoin to my portfolio, because I also believe the Litecoin is lagging behind. And I think when Bitcoin is going sideways or even dipping, then the pair Ethereum BTC or Litecoin BTC will be going up. And that's how you multiply your Ethereums and your Litecoins. Another tip from a long-haired guy just walking on the beach with his beautiful daughter. I cannot disclose to the full today what we are going to do, but believe me, it is going to be awesome. So make sure you join the Discord server, make sure you join the Telegram group, because there the news will be announced first and you want to be the first to hear this news. That was all the news for today. So what are you going to do the rest of the day? Chill in a jacuzzi? Yeah. I will take my bottle of rum. Oh, in the evening, a Dutch guy is coming uh, to visit us. He's a Bitcoin hodler as well. He lives here in Al Jazeera. He will visit us today and uh, we will have some drinks tonight with him. And I think when we have this house, more and more people will visit. And then maybe in the future we can do like a small party with all people that like crypto and kids and everything. And you know, a pool party with some music. Now we will keep it smaller because there is COVID. <laughs> What's your opinion about COVID? Nah, we don't focus on it, do we? No. Nah. As we don't focus on that, because like a week or two ago, we watched this documentary called uh, The Secret, and she is like reading into the law of attraction and that other thing. What's it called again? Manifesting. Manifesting. With which method? With the 369 method. Oh, yeah, the 369 method. The 369. What? 369. 369? Yeah. Like a, I like a triple 69. You know which position 69? I know what it is. 
it's, it's not like that. Okay, so she's using the 369 yes. method to manifest everything. So we talk a lot with our kids about the law of attraction and all that stuff because we want them to understand life. If you focus on negative stuff, if you focus on a flu, if you focus on fear, you attract fear. So that was everything for today, guys. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel, share it with your family and friends, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Mm -hmm. And always remember guys to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in on life. Zoom in on life because you need to enjoy life to the fullest every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you Monday again because Sunday is my off day. Tomorrow no live Instagram, no live YouTube, only live jacuzzi with Bacardi. So see you money again guys. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Bye.